Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 6th, 2020. So we, well, first off, I want to um, wish everyone, hopefully you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend and you're ready to get started with this week. Um, this morning, the bulls are feeling some juice and wanting to bounce substantially higher. So how about we settle into our chairs, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Monday morning edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have kind of an interesting situation setting up. We have some hopeful news out of Europe that for the first time, we're really starting to see a decline in the number of infections over there in Europe. That's got um, European markets really spiking up this morning, looking um, much happier um, this morning. But we also have some issues where we have oil dipping a little bit lower here this morning. Apparently, Russia and Saudi Arabia have delayed their agreement. They're trying to hammer out a deal. They're expecting something soon on that to cut production and finally relieve some of the pressure on um, oil. But um, this morning, the market is taking its cues from Europe, trying to hold on a little to a little bit of bullishness. We also had some bullish statements from the president yesterday that um, yesterday we had the first actual decline in the number of deaths out of New York. The president commented on that, and that kind of um, inspired a little bit of bullishness this morning. And then we had health officials coming out, <laughs> really kind of raining on that parade, um, suggesting that this is going to be, in fact, they referred to this week could be uh, like our Pearl Harbor. This is going to be a rough week, they are suggesting here in the United States with uh, death tolls rising and um, the spread really starting to open up and uh, creating some issues. As of this morning, we, we are approaching 350,000 infections here in the United States and nearly 10,000 deaths. Uh, deaths have occurred here so far and we haven't even reached the crest of, of the expansion yet so there are some concerns out there and even though we're gapping up this morning um, we want to be really really careful not to just get caught up in the hype um, this morning because we can expect quite a little bit of news driven price action to really be whipping us around. So let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we have in store for us. Now, first off, if I pull this chart back, you notice that I've marked out here the the 2018 low and that's been kind of a critical area we've been trying to get back above there and we hold it for a little bit and then we clap collapse back down below that area so that's kind of a defining line here in the diamonds and you can see this morning we're trying to gap back up to it now what i want to point out this morning is it's so easy to get caught up in the hype and drama that they create in the news about this and that fear of missing out and you feel like, oh my gosh, I got to hurry up and buy. I just, I got to rush into this because we're gapping up. I'm missing out. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's take a look here and notice that we're gapping into that price resistance and realize that we have still yet to cross back above the high of last week. So although we are moving up and it's wonderful to see a little bit of bullishness in the market please kind of temper that attitude with what we see here in the technicals of the chart we could certainly break on through that high of last week with some follow-through buying this morning but let's keep in mind we could also receive that news driven story that suggests hey things are are not getting better in the united states just yet and turn us back lower remember these now will serve as resistance and the thing we have to remember in this wild and crazy market is that if we do chase into this move 
Let's say we chase up in here, we buy with both hands, we run that potential risk of an 800 point slide back down to test that support. And you know, that's not too odd to see those kind of things happen. There's all of that back and forth. And here's the problem. When we chase into a morning that gaps up 800 points, we have to accept the risk of a stop loss being all the way down here. That's where price support currently is being shown in the chart. Now that in itself should temper everyone if you actually plan a trade here for that opportunity that we could hit these price resistance levels and slide south. Now let's also keep in mind that potential possibility that we serve an area here as support and resistance. We could be just going sideways here in consolidation and that is going to be a very wide ranging consolidation. So kind of keep that in mind as well. That possibility does exist. Now, if we do happen to break out, let's keep in mind, if we do break out of here, that's going to be an awful long ways to a price support in the chart. So don't chase this move. If this were to break through and then pull back and hold a support level in here somewhere, then we have an opportunity for that upside move, our trend to be in place, and hopefully we don't have to chase an 800 point gap. So something to think about there in the chart. Last but not least, I want to point out this, that we have a downtrend still in play and gapping up into here does not break that downtrend just yet. So keep that in mind. We are still working that downtrend here on the diamonds chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages, there's nothing here in our moving averages that's really giving us that big warm and fuzzy just yet. So temper that fear of missing out feeling this morning by a good close technical look at the charts and the things that we're going to have to deal with here in the price action of these charts. All right, just something to think about, not trying to rain on your parade or anything like that. Actually, really wanting to help everyone preserve their capital and be really careful not to chase. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also getting that gap up this morning. And let's notice that we are gapping back up. There is a resistance level here in the chart, and we've been dancing around this resistance level here in the SPY. And you can see we're gapping back above that this morning, and that is a wonderful sight to see. Let's keep in mind that we have yet to recover last week's highs. So although we're gapping up this morning, remember we could slam into that area as resistance as well. So a very similar situation to the Dow that we need to be considering. Now, one thing that is a little bit different here in the SPY is that we may actually be breaking above that downtrend. That's a good sign as long as we can hold it. So far, we have to, what we have to do is prove that we can hold it. And let's keep in mind that there is a big swing back down to test the lows. So be careful on how you approach this market. Plan your trading very, very carefully with a, really focused idea to the risk that you may be taking because of this wild volatility. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues technically are also in that similar situation. We're trying to gap back above here and trying to break that downtrend. So we're gapping right up into this area. We're trying to bust through that downtrend. Now it all depends on where you draw this line. If I were to draw this line a little bit tighter to that little shooting starts top, we're going to gap right up into that area. But I kind of prefer this right in here. To tell you the truth, I get a little bit more um, contact in here. But same similar, very similar situation. If we gap up into this area here, we still have last week's resistance high that we need to deal with. And let's keep in mind that we still have big moves in, back and forth in between here with that uh, potential volatility and news driven events. So watch that closely and plan your trading carefully. Now, one thing that is a bullish sign here in, um, in the queues, and that is that this morning's gap up, we once again recover that 500 day moving average. And it's hard to say, you know, when was the last time you heard anybody say that recovering a 500 day moving average is bullish, but it is bullish in this circumstance. We've been, we broke above and we 
struggled with holding it here and now we're gapping back up so let's watch that carefully but one thing to kind of really keep in mind on is that 50-day moving average is dropping pretty quickly and here in the next week or so will drop below that 200-day moving average so we've got a lot of technical damage here in these charts still to repair so be careful with the idea that we're just all in and we should just be jumping long remember we're, we've got earnings coming um, and I don't think anyone is expecting really good earnings results um, in this next quarter so keep that in mind as well Let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a pretty rough day on Friday, went going ahead and selling off, but we are gapping back above. And let me show you here, I've got this little resistance level marked here in the chart. We've been struggling with that and we are gapping back above that area, but there's certainly nothing in this chart that is technically um, bullish just yet we are still fighting a, a substantial downtrend here in the chart and so IWM has got a lot of work yet to do before it starts coming around and, and uh, feeling very bullish let's take a look at the um, the VIX here for a second now the VIX did continue its little slide sideway or down um, last week and as you can see we're pulling back in that uh, uh, that incredible volatility that we have experienced so we did break down through that level of support um, right there in the chart you can see I can pull that back and there's a little bit of price support right in there the next level down is going to be right in here around the 37 area so let's keep that in mind we could gap right down into here um, on that so let's watch that little area of price support and there may be a little bit of additional price support with this little formation right here so keep that in mind there could be a little bit of um, support in there where we might start bouncing back watch that carefully one thing that will be really nice is that the volatility is starting to drop out of option prices a little bit prices should start coming in a little bit and they should get a little bit better uh, bid ask spreads should continue to um, shrink just a little bit that helps that opportunity to maybe trade some options again but we're going to have to watch for that potential expansion back up because the numbers here in the US are still looking pretty grim overall let's take a look at t2122 it's the four week new high new low ratio and although last week we pushed right back down here into this bullish reversal zone you can see that this morning we are spiking hard so we may bounce right back up into this area right in here let's keep in mind overall that still puts us in that possible downtrend area but i think we still have that potential that we could rally up toward this midpoint here in the chart if we can get a little bit of follow through buying it all depends on whether or not we can um, actually get past some of these bad numbers here in the United States and kind of ignore them for a little bit and try to rally watch that closely just be really really cautious and careful for that potential you know when we can gap up 800 points that means we can reverse pretty hard so don't be too surprised if we get those big multi hundred point reverse Universal swings in this chart so be a little bit careful and focus really carefully on that price action determine whether or not the risk of this market suits you personally because it's pretty challenging right now and I don't expect that to change um, in the next you know couple of days so watch that close let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar we've got a few things on that economic calendar to be thinking about but really today very very light day so first off we have virtually nothing here on the calendar to worry about some bond auctions things like that the job openings report may be kind of interesting here on Tuesday um, and then notice we've got an FOMC meeting coming up so our FOMC minutes so we may glean a little bit of additional information out of that it's not atypical to see the market kind of settle down and kind of um, relax heading into a meeting like that we'll just have to wait and see um, watch that carefully and closely 
Also, um, just keep in mind, we've got all those jobs numbers coming out later this week. And then the big CPI number on Friday that we'll want to be thinking about. Um, obviously, the market is ignoring um, the jobs numbers or has largely ignored the jobs number as if it didn't even occur. Um, if they can continue to do that, well, then more power to them, I guess. We'll have to just wait and see um, how much longer they're going to be able to ignore that. It, it may be just up until earnings when we really start um, the second quarter earnings next week um, when we really start waking up to the fact of how much damage has been done in these companies. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today. Um, our earnings calendar, we have, um, well, a pretty light day to tell you the truth on that earnings calendar. Um, about 37 companies reporting earnings but i gotta tell you i went through that list and i'm not finding anything that's particularly notable for today on that earnings calendar so not only do we have a very light economic calendar we have a very light earnings calendar so that puts us in right in the crosshairs of news any news events could um, fluctuate the market quite a bit so keep an eye to those news reports um, as they come out and um, whether or not we're going to continue to feel that warm and fuzzy positive out of Europe or if we start to focus just a little bit more on what's happening here in the United States. So with that, let's take a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click those uh, that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Um, you know, if you find these videos to be helpful when we look at these technicals rather than getting all caught up in the hype, um, if you could please just click that thumbs up button and then leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. Helps us continue to grow. We're approaching those 10,000 subscribers now. Thank you, everyone. You guys are awesome. And I credit all of that to you. I do my very best job to put out good quality content without all the hype and drama and stuff that you might see other places to help um, traders focus on how to approach the market for the day. But we can't grow without you and your help, your continued support of the channel and this effort uh, helps us continue to grow. So thank you very much, everyone. You guys are truly, truly awesome. So let's take a look at a few stocks that are looking pretty decent, starting to show signs of improvement. And I'm actually going to start right here with the NASDAQ. If we take a look at the QQQ and recognizing this gap up this morning if we can actually hold up in here there may be some opportunity now i want to take this to a shorter term chart and let's take a look at maybe an hourly position you can see we're going to gap up here this morning and by the way this gradient area is overnight um, price action so kind of ignore that in, in a way that we're going to gap up right into this area now if we can actually on this hourly gap up in here and hold if we can get a proof of hold of this support level there may be some opportunity here in nasdaq to move up and that's going to be reflected in a lot of the nasdaq stocks um, i'm going to go back to the daily and if we start taking a look at stocks like um, nvidia NVIDIA looking pretty good here in the sense that it's trying to hold on to some price support in the chart. And here's that downtrend that I talk about all the time. So we've kind of broken that downtrend. We're holding some support here in this chart and we're getting this gap up this morning. So let's watch this area in here, see if we can actually build a good quality pattern in here to hold. Now, of course, we can always draw that downtrend like this and still see that resistance, you know, playing, having an effect in here. But if we take a look at our moving averages, you can see we'll be bouncing right up here toward that 50 day moving average. If we can get through that and hold, there may be some opportunities here in some of these big techs. They've been pretty strong overall, bouncing back substantially. So we'll want to watch those pretty closely um, if um, we are going to get um, nice and bullish. Another one, 
might be um, um, Intel. You can see Intel has been building this consolidation. First, let me go to this naked chart. And you can see in this chart, we've broken this downtrend and we're trying to hold some support levels in here just a little bit. As you can see, bouncing a really wild price swing, but we're trying to hold some support levels in that chart. So keep in mind, there may be that opportunity of catching a trade in here. Now, it's gapping up substantially, and I hate it when it does things like that because that makes um, a high risk trade to try and jump into those positions. But keep in mind that we're gonna be reporting earnings here on the 23rd, and we could, just in anticipation of those earnings reports, get a little bit of a rally up into these resistance areas as we kind of anticipate um, earnings. Now, I can't tell you that they're gonna report well. I uh, Honestly, I think there could be some really dismal reports uh, coming out. We'll have to wait and see, but just some ideas um, of trades where you might have an opportunity to find some love. Other places that um, I saw really picked up on Friday, um, and that would be in stocks like Coca-Cola. Now Coke, picking up in these little bit higher lows, depending on how you wanna draw um, that downtrend in here, you can see we are gapping up this morning and we're popping above this little resistance level. If we can prove to hold up here, we know Coke is not gonna go away and um, everybody's gonna continue to drink Coke and or in their Coke products and we could maybe see some price support in some of these defensive sector and this is a defensive sector stock which um, may be trying to come around. Another place to look would be um, for potential trades would maybe be in the energy sector. Now, energy is gonna pull back a little bit this morning. We saw a little bit of a pullback in oil here this morning, but we are expecting some kind of a deal here before too long between Saudi Arabia and Russia. Now, although the, the damage to this sector is extreme and we don't expect, not expecting to see a great big improvement in demand here over, um, you know, a short period of time anyway, with travel and flights and everything like that, people not moving around. Um, we don't expect to see a big increase in demand, but if they start reducing the pressure on oil by flooding the market with oil between the fight uh, with Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia and Russia, we could see this naturally starting to move a little higher. So you might want to take a look at some of those oil sector stocks. That may be a place to kind of pick up some um, risk. Um, I think you're probably going to have to hold them a little bit longer term uh, to really get some major benefit out of it. But if they can start to stabilize in here and start to come up, then we have some opportunities. Now, keep in mind on every single company um, we're going to be heading into the second quarter earnings here soon there's going to be a lot of volatility around those earnings reports so remember some of these some of these trades you may not be able to hold through those earnings reports with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and better yet i want to wish you a profitable week take care of yourselves we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning i wish you all the best